Hey guys, it's Shalisi coming at you with my first Weight Loss Wednesday of 2018. Yes, yes, homegirls at it again. I know, it's like the fifth time I asked word you, but it's gonna go better this time, I think. So if you've been following me on the YT for a minute, you know that every other year I'm trying to lose weight. Which is cool, which is dandy, you know, trying to feel better about myself, you know, a little more self-love kind of jazz, a little less self-hate. Not that I hate myself and my size, depending on the day, let's be real. Because sometimes, you know, when you're trying to be sexy and get that lingerie but your boobs don't fit, nothing fits, you get kind of get upset. But that's a whole nother video. So yes, sorry about the little situation with like setup. I'm at my mom's house still. They ain't back till tomorrow. Still keep watching kids, no lighting, echoey because I'm in the bathroom. Because a homegirl recently came back from the gym and having eye hops, but it's okay. So to get a little pointers out, homegirl, when I did my 2018 video, I'd gone to the gym the day after. I was sitting at 187 on the dot, which is cool, which is dandy. It's not the highest I've been because I've been like 195, which is like damn well near 200. But we ain't gonna talk about because I'm not there right now. So that's good, that's all dandy. And I was like, you know what? I'm trying to do better, trying to get fit, you know, eat better, be a more a little healthy with my lifestyle choices, you know, and whatnot. As of this morning, I am 184.9, which is like a 2.1 pounds dropped. Which is lovely, that's great, because I really didn't do much. I went to the gym once. I tried to eat better. I tried to cut back on my drinking when I go out. That did not go so well. I think I did more damage last lately than the last four months. But that's okay, you live and you learn, right? But yeah, so my weight loss goal for 2018 is not so much to lose weight. Yes, that would be a plus, you know, because if I could go down from like an F bra size to a double D, like an actual double D. Not that I pretend I'm a double D and I'm not quite a double D, double D, life would be good. Sorry if the camera's a little shaky. I told you I was at the gym, my arms are sore, so holding my camera like this is just not working for me right now. But that's okay, cool, daddy, no what problem. Clearly my left hand is weak, weak. It is weak, because I can't hold the camera. And the camera's not even that heavy, but that's besides the point. So for 2018, my whole goal is to be more aware of what I eat, you know? So, less McDonald's, less IHOPs. Like, legit, since I've been at my parents, it's been a week. I've had IHOPs five out of the seven days. And that's only because skip the dish is bae. You don't understand. Skip the dish is bae. Where I live, because I live outside the city, skip the dish it doesn't even give me more than four options. Skip the dish at my mom's house gives me like all this junk. I'm like, I hop though. I hop is bae. You can never have too much French toast. Not gonna lie. You probably could, but not in my case. I love French toast. Could eat it morning, night, dinner, the works. But that's not what this video is about because now I just want to order some more. But delivery just ended. Rough, I know. But yeah, so 2018 goal is to be more aware of what I'm putting in my body. So what I think I'm going to try and do for the next month and a half or so is be one week vegetarian and one week, you know, eating meat. Now that I'm trying to be a vegetarian, I've been there, done that. I was fit back then, but I was like pre-kid day. And when my metabolism actually could like just run with it. Now I'm just like, I think I can, I think I can. Now I give up kind of vibes. Which is okay, you know? So for 2018, like I said, I'm gonna work on like eating better. So instead of having like IHOPs every day, McDonald's every day, I'm gonna try to do better. Try cook a little more. I really don't need to cook because my mom cooks every day and I have to come get my kid from my mom's every day. So really and truly, I could just eat what she has, you know? You know, pack a lunch that way, you know? Not really have to cook and meal prep or anything so i might try to do that because my mom if y'all didn't know she had her first fitness comp co competition last year and she's old 
My mom's like my mom. I'm 30 in August. So my mom's like actually older, you know? I just call my mama old though, because she'll slap me. But that's besides the point too. But she had her first fitness competition and she won third, guys. Like, I mean, she was so cut and so lean. I was like, dang, she even had abs. My mom's had four kids, by the way. Her girl had abs. And I was like, like, if I ate like you and worked out like you, I could look like you too. I ain't got that kind of motivation because I like to sleep when I have a day off. I ain't trying to be up earlier than I already have to be. If I have a day off, I'm driving my kid to school and going right back to bed. But, you know, for this year, instead of, like, going right to back to bed, I'll just get up, get her ready for school, put my gym clothes on, drive her to school, drive her to the gym. Go to the gym for my daughter's school is only 20 minutes. Sit there for 45 minutes, you know, do some cardio, do a couple weight training things, you know, do arm day, leg day. I'd be good. And then, tonight, I went out with my girlfriend to this barbell class, okay? So, basically, it's like ballet thingies like you know i don't know how to split it i'll link it down below if you are in the yc the calgary and surrounding area i will link the place i went to down below because it was quite a different experience it had like some like yoga moves in there some resistant training some weight training you know not too much but it was like you had dumbbells you also got that little weight going with it it was a cool experience my friend she's trying to be like we need to go once a week, and I'm like, skirt! Ain't nobody trying to die, okay? Like, I'm just telling you, my hips are hurting. Loki, I think I'm gonna feel it tomorrow. Like, my, my hip joint hurts. Bro, I am getting up there in years. It is ridiculous, but that's okay, too, you know? I'm embracing my old age, my old, old age. My mama heard me right now, she slapped me, saying, you ain't old, Jen. I'm talking about you being old. No, 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 no. You know how parents get. Right? But so we went there. And it was a cool experience. I could potentially do it once a month. Until I felt like a little smaller. Because they had me doing jumping jacks, guys. And my boobs are big. My boobs hurt more than my rest of my body. And they technically weren't working out. So maybe I need like more supportive sports bra. But sports bras don't really come in my size yet. So maybe when I get like slightly smaller in the chestal area. I could go there more regularly. But I'm trying to implement for... The next six weeks at least, twice in the gym, twice a week. So on my days off, which is typically after sc school on Wednesday, and Monday and Wednesdays, I can just bring my gym stuff with me. Go to the gym for an hour and a half. Okay, let's be real, like an hour max. Then go pick up my kid, you know? And voila, that's my two days a week. And I'm really trying to like factor in hot yoga in there because I low-key hate sweating, but you know, sweating out of all that deep toxic waste out of your body should be good for you you know what i mean i'm gonna try to drink more water cut back on my soda intake and honestly with the whole food situation i'm really gonna try to cut back on all the dairy because low-key i'm like lactose intolerant now since i had my surgery nine years ago at this point can't really technically digest dairy ah uh, fatty foods deep fried foods so anything that tastes really good i shouldn't be eating so what I'm going to work on is cutting back on my coffee intake, you know. And instead of like going to Starbucks twice a day, you know, or Tim Hortons, you know. If I make a single cup of coffee with some creamer, that should be enough to get me going for the day and to deal with all the customers in retail. You feel me? So yeah, and I'm going to try and like eat more fruits and veggies. Like, let's be real, not so much on the veggie parts. I don't really like veggies. Carrots and cucumbers, I'm good with. Anything else? Not really a big fan of. But definitely fruits, like watermelon. Watermelon is life. You can eat watermelon all day. Strawberries, kiwis, blackberries, blueberries. I'm all about that. I can have that all day. Some like strawberry yogurt with that. It's set that's dairy, so we'll see how that goes. Right? And all that. So just trying to be more focused, you know. I'm very happy with my little bit of weight loss that I did have, even though I wasn't really trying. So I'm going to try to continue to be more positive. On the situation you know eating better you know trying to like eat out less you know can't completely not go out for date nights with your besties you know your sisters your cousin you know, you know it's good to interact with people social interaction is good but yeah i just want to cut back on the kind of food i eat you know so i'm not going to order indian every other night 
I'm not gonna get McDonald's every other night. I'm just trying to be healthier, you know? Little things, you know? If I can work on being a little healthier with my eating, then I know the weight will slowly drop off because eating is like the main factor in weight loss. Like, don't even get me wrong. If you wanna like tone, you need to like do cardio, you need to do some strength training, you know? But if you don't eat good, it's not gonna do anything for you. Trust me, I believe I've been doing this for like three years now. Eating bad and going to the gym, does it really, dude, it's kind of productive, bro. Slightly, well, a lot, but you know, whatever. But yeah, I will definitely be back with another update sometime in February for another Weight Loss Wednesdays. Hopefully in that one, maybe I'll lose a little more than two pounds, but we'll see. I'm gonna try and be better. Eat out less, eat less cinnamon buns. Cause I noticed when I eat cinnamon buns, guys, I instantly break out right after. Like, I mean like, you know, little whiteheads, like instantly. Like, an hour later, bam, it's there, bam. It's, I'm like, but it was so good, but you know. Trying to keep my skin clear as well. But yeah, and I also try to increase my water intake. Try to at least drink a liter a day because I need to cut back on my sugar, guys. That's all I really need to do. I just need to cut back on my sugar. So if I drink a little liter of water a day, that should help with the situation. I like the sparkling water and stuff. So we'll see how it goes. If you want to follow me on this journey, you know, definitely subscribe if you're new. If you're not new, thanks for sticking around. We'll see how this year goes. Gotta be positive, you know. Any weight loss is better than no weight loss, as I would like to say. But yeah, I will see you guys in another video real soon. I hope y'all are having an amazing night. And be blessed. Bye, y'all.